Hello everyone and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. We have what I think is going to end up being our last comparison for you guys in the Entente Coalition, so tomorrow we will move to a new coalition and a new expert player, but uh, we do have a lot still left to talk about here, particularly because an ATGM plane, at least in my opinion, is an integral part of every deck on 1v1 and also team games where you just need that utility. Now, don't use that as a crutch, but used appropriately, these planes can have an outsized impact on the course of the match. So we're going to take a look first at the Oral 2 and the Super Gallop, and there might be other planes that hop in there as the comparison goes on. But just briefly, 100 points for the Oral 2, 130 points for the Super Gallop. Each one only carries two ATGM missiles, which can be a bit of a drawback. But Gatsu, which one of these do you take and why? So when it comes to untamped ATGM planes, there are like more planes than those two, but only these two, in my opinion, deserve uh, the place in the airtap. One of them is uh, Super Gallop and the other one is the Oral. And the big difference between them is uh, that uh, Super Gallop is a little bit slower since it's been nerfed, but uh, it's got a 30 heat to missiles at a very high uh, accuracy of 60 compared to like other nations like 50 on MiG 27K, if I remember correctly. And then it's got the Mohilnias and like the other armament is like not so important for the plane. It can be uh, very funny. Sometimes I had games where I actually shot down a plane with the, the Mohilnias. <laughs> oh, it doesn't, doesn't happen that often. You can definitely use it uh, like you see a helo around your uh, base, your base you, can yeah. use that. You, you can use that for that like you get extra missiles but it's not very important like the main selling point of the of it is the grom 3 which is is it grom 3 <laughs> grom, uh, grom b yes uh grom fire and okay. forgets uh, two tv guidance missiles and i guess just to comment on the anti-helicopter capability if you're calling this out as your first look in a deck that also has the l17k i'm gonna ask you questions but Sort of more more to the point there was the flexibility. So if you call out the Super Gallop as an anti-tank plane, and then somebody, somebody sends a recon helo to your base, base or something like that, you don't necessarily have to buy another plane to do it because you do have those two air-to-air -air missiles. I think that's sort of uh, the intention there, right, Gatsu? Uh, it just gives you a little bit more of uh, flexibility in that regard. It's, of course, like not usable. You will not use it every single game or like uh, it's not the point. in 20 games. But uh, it helps a bit, and uh, the main point is like the 60% accuracy. We are almost always hitting at least one missile, and if you are uh, for some reason sending it against medium tanks, it will kill almost all medium tanks that have uh, 16 and under front armor in one shot. And very often it double hits, so the enemy super heavies can just perish when they see super gallop coming at them. Gotcha. So the aura out too. Why would you take this? Oreo 2 is uh, like the Yugo version of uh, Peace Rhine. You take it at the elite availability because you get like two of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, three at trains, yeah. two at elite. It's definitely worth it to take them up with because they have the for only 40% uh, accuracy on those Mavericks. So uh, it kind of equals out to be as effective as Peace Rhine when it comes to that. It's uh, not bad at all. Like the range is a little bit lacking uh, compared to, to like the three to three to five, but it's not a big deal. And you also get uh, the rocket pods, which can be sometimes helpful. Sometimes you will not use them, but when you buy the plane, you buy it to kill like let's say medium tank. You kill the medium tank, and suddenly there is some like infantry. The airspace is clear. You can use it as uh, a like last a, ditch. One thing that both of these planes seem to have in common is they both have a secondary use, if not a secondary intention, right? Yes, yes, uh, the War Oak is like perfectly okay at killing infantry and uh, etc. if you need it to be, but I would heavily advise against it if uh, you don't know about uh, your enemy's AA or uh, air superiority fighters. It's just like the secondary function that it can do, but it does it like perfectly well and one thing is that uh, if you send it, uh, for example, to snipe uh, enemy AA piece, like Krotal, and uh, both Mavericks miss, then you have the rocket pods, which actually kill it. So it uh, makes it uh, very good at sniping uh, enemy AA in that sense. Gotcha. Well, that makes a lot of sense, and I think that'll wrap up our unit comparison here and the faction. Thank you for... Uh... 
for being around, spending the time, and uh, helping me with these series of videos. I hope everyone in the audience found it informative and entertaining, and we'll be back with you guys again tomorrow.